Jeff Caldwell here with agriculture.com here at the uh, first Tools of the Future Tour event uh, in Clive, Iowa. And I'm here with uh, Jeff Hamlin from Climate Corporation. He spoke a little bit today about their Climate Basic and Climate Pro offerings, basically tools that integrate weather data into uh, some decision-making uh, processes and tools that they offer and uh, offer through some software, some web-based software and some cloud-based software that they have. Uh, Jeff, one of the things that, uh, that you talked about is uh, sort of some of the variables that go into some of this data that you guys collect in, in, in some of these decision-making tools. And as we look into the future, when we look at some of these different decision-making tools, uh, what's more important? Is it, is it uh, the precision of the data that we can continue to grow uh, as we glean more data in the future, or some of these different decision-making tools like, for example, water holding capacity of the soil? Sure. I think it's a, it's a combination of, of a lot of things. The precision of the data is obviously important. The frequency with which we get it uh, is important. It, is it an hour old or is it two hours old or is it six hours old? It can influence the, how we can take action uh, based on that data. And then it's just the, uh, the ability to access it easily and where you need it, in the truck, in the combine, in the planter, wherever you are. So um, data is only as useful as the, uh, the timeliness of it, the accuracy of it, and the accessibility uh, of it. And really that, as, as a technology company, which the, the Climate Corporation is, we can really provide data in a way that growers have never been able to use it and, and access it before. What's lo looking sort of in the, the short term, the next uh, six months to a year or so, what are, some of the, what are some of the changes that you see coming in, in the whole data integration uh, field of agriculture right now? Yeah, I, I think uh, growers have been collecting data for quite a while now, and they're only going to get more of it. And so the ability to use that data to drive decisions is really uh, where we're going in, in the field. Growers have had data before that's been pretty pictures. I can see a picture, a harvest map. I can see an as-planted map. I can see uh, some of these things that have been done in my fields. But what can I do with that? Can I make a better decision as a result of having that data? And that's where we are today in the, the world of, of, of precision ag and, and production ag data. We can now take that data and use it to make a better decision that will actually have an impact on our profitability. These are no longer just pretty pictures. These are, uh, these are pictures that are going to drive decisions because we have these systems to integrate it and, and help make a, make a decision. There you have it. Uh, thanks, Jeff. Um, Jeff Hamlin from Climate Corporation here at the uh, first ever Tools of the Future Tour in Clive, Iowa. I'm Jeff Caldwell with agriculture.com.